Hello to everyone, this is Adventure Story and today we will discuss about O-rings. Thank you everybody for looking my videos. The R videos is for marine engineering and I will share my knowledge with you. Okay. First of all, what we can say for O-rings. As you can see here I have I have enlarged the screen okay for you to better to see. And uh, I have bring some O-rings. This is old O-rings already used, but I like to share my knowledge about them. Okay. First of all, uh, your O-rings must be original. This is the best of all, because if you do not use original O-rings, the time of uh, the lifetime of O-rings will be sure reduced. Uh, and also you must use proper o-rings there are different kind of o-rings there is a uh, heat resistant o-rings there is a uh, high pressure resistant o-rings must be specified for each machinery it's used okay sometimes o-rings uh, it they comes in uh, different colors okay they comes uh, in uh, black and red, they can be green, uh, blue. This is uh, some kind of uh, to be in separate in some system, okay? Code system, uh, color coding system, okay? And uh, first of all, I like to say about how to check O rings, okay? Most important when you have an O ring. And you like to see if it's okay. You can bend it like this from outside to inner side, and you will see exactly if your O ring is okay. Uh, this one I can see, if you can see, it's already broken, and there is already cuts everywhere around. This kind of O ring you cannot use, as you can see, it broke, and uh, some O rings they take also some loading pressure loading or uh, thermal loading okay most of rings they expose to thermal loading that means uh, the rubber will be stretched or compressed by temperature exchanges okay this is very important and as we say here the checking this is very important okay because if you do not change some o-rings or you make some economy uh, in the future maybe you will have problem in your machinery there maybe will be leakages transfer from another part of engine and uh, there is possible to occur uh, tremendous uh, damages okay which probably you cannot repair okay this is for rings the ring size is uh, different. They come uh, big size, middle size, and they come in small size. Okay. Always use proper O-rings. Okay. Always be designed for the specified area. This is very important. Some of them have elasticity. They are tremendous elasticity. This is for air high pressure. This kind of O-ring can survive from 30 bar of pressure, okay? 30 bar is uh, quite a lot. This is strong pressure. This is from starting air system of main engine. And uh, what we can tell for O-ring? something uh, more interesting that uh, I have experienced okay uh, one day there there was a engineer that he was uh, looking for o-rings okay this kind of o-rings was uh, m must be certified for the high temperature heavy fuel oil okay but uh, he cannot find and he used one uh, normal o-ring Okay, not high temperature. And what happened at the moment when he put this o-ring, this o-ring uh, was burned. 
because the temperature was uh, 130 degrees. There is a different kind of uh, materials which use for that kind of o-rings, okay? This is very important. And uh, there is a danger because you can uh, make also damage and you can make damage to property by fire, which means uh, fire in the engine room is a very dangerous uh, condition which we need to avoid. So use only original and you will be fine. Uh, one another, uh, have one uh, another experience that uh, in one engine in high pressure pipes they do not use original o-rings okay and one day i asked chief engineer why we do not buy uh, original o-rings this is uh, some o-rings is very cheap okay this is not very expensive if you think that you have a ship the ship costs millions and o-rings to change is some dollars okay maybe five ten dollars Maximum. And uh, he told me, yeah, it's okay, we buy from aftermarket O-rings, which is not original, and uh, we are fine. But they were, we was not fine, because in one week this O-rings damaged and there was fuel leakage. And uh, fuel leakage, what was happening, coming from uh, our upper part and uh, going to lower part of the engine. Also, bilges was very dirty. And we also consume a lot of rugs to clean and a lot of time. We spend a lot of time for this time kind of work, uh, which means that this time of which this losing time uh, we can use in other uh, machinery working, okay, procedures, which we need also for the improvement, okay. This is very important. That's I have uh, for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.